Morning everyone and I hope you enjoyed the sunshine from yesterday. Today we are reading Rude Mule. Look at his face. A very rude mule indeed. Can you see what number is on the boy's door? Look. It says number five. What would you do if a mule knocked on your door one day and said, I've come for lunch? You'd say, hello, come in, mule. Can you hear my dog downstairs demanding her breakfast? Can you see the words? What if he came in and sat down at the table? You'd say, mule, wash your hooves before lunch. But what if he said, won't? You'd say, no lunch for you then. Then, what if he brayed a rude mule? Eeyore! You'd ignore him until he stopped, wouldn't you? My boy does not look happy. What if he got tired of making a fuss and washed his hooves under the tap politely? You'd say, would you like some spaghetti? What if he just said, Okay, you'd say, Mew, say yes, please. What if he said, won't? You'd say, no spaghetti for you then. <laughs> Look at that, Mew. What if he brayed a rude mule hee-haw and stamped his four stubborn hooves? You'd ignore him until he stopped, wouldn't you? What if you got tired of making a fuss and said, yes, please, politely? You'd serve him some spaghetti, wouldn't you? But what if he got, what if he began to slurp and gobble? You'd say, mew, eat your food quietly. Look, look at that slurp and gobble. But what if he said, won't? You'd say, then we won't be able to play with my train set after lunch. What if he brayed a rude mule, hee-haw, and stamped his four stubborn hooves and allowed, blew a loud pla down his big rude mule, a big mule nose? You'd ignore him until he stopped, wouldn't you? What a rude mule. What if he got tired of making a fuss? and began to eat quietly. You'd say, when we play with my train set, you can be the driver. But what if he got very excited and jumped down from the table? You'd say, mule, say, may I leave the table? What if he said, won't? You'd say, then my train will have to be without a driver today. What if he brayed a rude mule hee-haw, stamped his four stubborn hooves, blew a loud pla down his rude mule, big mule nose, and poked out his red mule tongue? You'd ignore him until he stopped, wouldn't you? What if he got tired of making a fuss and said, please may I leave the table? Very politely. Then mule would get to drive the train. You'd play hide and seek. How can you find him? Do you know where he is? When my daughters used to play hide and seek with a little girl, friend, a friend of theirs, she always used to hide inside a coat that was hanging on a coat hook and put her feet inside the wellies underneath. It took us ages to find her. First time she did it. You'd blow bubbles. You'd both have a wonderful time until you were tired. What if it was if he said, I'm going home now, and got ready to leave? You'd say, Mule, what should you say now? What if he blinked his bright mule eyes and wrinkled his mule forehead and thought and thought? Then what if he smiled a big toothy mule smile and said very politely, Thank you for having me. I've had a lovely time. You'd say, Come again tomorrow and we'll paddle, paddle in my paddling pool. Then I'd bet he'd bray a happy mule hee-haw 
and clap his mule hooves and blow a quiet plop down his big mule nose and lick you gently with his red mule tongue. Oh, no! And give you a giant mule hug. And he's got a number five on his car. What number was on the front door? Can you remember? That was a five as well. Then you'd wave goodbye to him very politely. And you'd go and get your paddling pool ready, wouldn't you? All the different things they did. And that's your book for today. Rude Mule. Have a lovely weekend. And I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.